Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to finally help you solve one of the most annoying problems when trying to play Pokemon on Ryujinx. You start the game, everything seems fine, you create your character, watch the intro cutscenes, you even start moving around, but the moment you leave the train station, a Fletchling flies across the screen and BOOM! The emulator completely freezes. No buttons work, audio stops, and the only thing you can do is close everything and start over. Super frustrating, especially when it happens every single time. The thing is, there's nothing wrong with your files or your PC. It's simply a bug in Ryujinx specific to that cutscene, and it hasn't been fixed yet. But don't worry, there's a way to get past it, and it works 100%. Instead of fighting with Ryujinx, we're going to temporarily switch to another emulator called Eden. Eden doesn't crash during that scene, so we'll use it just long enough to get past the broken part. Now, you should know that Eden often has its own problem, a weird purple or green screen bug that makes the entire game invisible. You can hear the music and sound effects, but the visuals are completely covered by a colored filter. However, if you copy the exact settings I show you in this video, Eden will work normally and you'll be able to see everything clearly without that glitch. So here's what you need to do. Launch the game on Eden with the correct settings, and play normally until you pass the Fletchling cutscene. Keep going just a little further until you reach the moment where you have to chase a Pancham together with the three starters. That's where you stop. Don't go any further. Open the menu, save your game, and close the emulator. Now we're going to move your save back to Ryujinx. It's really simple. Right-click the game inside Eden, open the save folder, and copy all the files you see there. Then open Ryujinx. Do the same thing. Right-click the game, open the save folder, and paste the files inside. When you launch the game again, you'll continue exactly from where you left off but this time without crashes. And just so you know, if you're using a low-end PC or a weak laptop, Eden might actually be a good option to continue playing entirely. It's more optimized for slower hardware. But if your computer can handle it, Ryujinx still gives you better graphics, fewer visual glitches, and a smoother overall experience. That's why I recommend this hybrid solution. Use Eden only to bypass the broken intro, then switch back to Ryujinx for the rest of the adventure. If this guide helped you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and definitely join the Discord. Because I've already uploaded all the files and settings there, so you don't have to waste time searching online. Thanks for watching and enjoy your journey!